All right, let's just get this unedited video out of the fucking way, all right? Um, so I basically went on to a spin, spinning wheel website, and I basically just randomly selected six toys that I was going to review this month. And uh, this came up as one of them, and I have the other six over at my table, so that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, this thing was a pain in the ass to... Uh, I wouldn't say put together, but, like, figure out, like, how the fuck this thing actually works. Um, and yes, I am talking about the Sassy, uh, Deluxe Music and Motion Mobile, I should say, from Baby Beethoven. Um, somehow this was on eBay for, like, a good $41 back in, like, November. And, uh, without hesitation, I think I either, uh, sent them an offer... Or I just straight up bought it. I don't really remember what I did. But in any case, I did eventually get it. Um, it was delayed for like a week until like in like late November. That's when I got it. Um, came in a lot of pieces. Um, this was a big pain in the ass to set up. And to also film a clip because um, the thing in the back, which I don't really want to like risk... Uh, this thing falling apart really but there's a thing in the back where you know you tighten the mobile to like your crib or something and i i've done it before with the teddy mobile um with filming some of the more recent clips even though they were absolute garbage um you've obviously seen uh, the discovery kit version of the classics with that teddy mobile clip that was obviously in slow motion and reverse with a um with an ornament rotator because um, my winder did not work. But uh, anyways, back to this. Um, when I first got this, um, I was very confused. Uh, there was like there were batteries that were going into this thing, and uh, they took like three. At first, I thought it was like two, and they had like another one for like an error. But no, they actually take. Uh, three C batteries, and this was the thing I was talking about earlier, yeah, they take three C batteries, um, one in the, uh, very end, and then you got two of them on the sides right here, so they're going like this, um, yeah, pain in the ass to get together, um, don't have the, uh, lid to it, because the batteries, they, uh, well, you know what I'm gonna say, they, um, they have a hard time shutting, and I have a hard time screwing them back on because of the battery uh, blocking it. Um, but anyways, here's the mobile itself. Um, obviously, this is not really the right version that they used in Beethoven, but obviously it's the same thing. It doesn't really matter, to be honest, in this, at this point. Um, but yeah, no, it does have four animals. It also did have four other pieces uh, that weren't in the video that I... I'm not going to get because those are not really that important. Um, but the ones that are important are these ones right here. So you got the, you got the elephant, you got the lion, you got the giraffe, and then you have the zebra right here. Uh, they were a lot smaller than I thought, the little animal pieces itself. Like, I thought they were going to be a little bit bigger, but I'm fine with it either way. Um, and then on the bottom, uh, you have a few options. You have a volume up and down right here. You have on and off switch. Uh, you have lullaby. What was this, white noise? Yeah, this is a uh, white noise right here. And then this is classical. Anyone who pretty much knows the, um, who pretty much see, um, has the mobile or actually knows what it plays, you guys know exactly what the mobile plays. I think I did turn it on, right? Yeah, I did. So here's the weird part, and yes, it is pretty slow at first, but it'll, it'll catch up. So basically, it just slows down. Oh, well, no, hold on. It play, blah. It goes around, it stops for two seconds, and then it just continues. According to Koala, this is apparently what it's supposed to do, but if that's the case, then I have no idea how the hell they actually managed to do in the video. Like, they must have had some pretty professional editing to, like, cut out the parts where it pauses and then it just continues. I tried doing that with uh, the same thing when I uh, 
edited uh, BE Classics Discovery Kit version. Um, I did my best. You'll definitely, you definitely can tell. I've pretty done my best. Um, also, another thing that you can tell is that this thing's actually going in reverse. Well, again, that's also because I also reversed the video of the original clip that I had. And that's how it was made. Of course, assuming that they actually used this angle right here, maybe. And then they just shot it, like, at an uh, angle where you can't see the white part of the mobile. At least that's what I assume. And then they just reverse the shot. Uh, that, that's just my best guess, though. But yeah, damn, this thing's motherfucking slow. Holy shit. Um, but yeah, other than Lullaby, I'm gonna go to White Noise now. You guys cannot hear it instead. You guys, I think you guys probably hear, um, the pipes on the other side of my basement, most likely. That or the motor and the mobile are generating, but it's basically, the best thing I can compare it to is, um, waves, uh, ocean waves, I guess. But the best part about this is the when you hit classical. Because that kind of ties into the Mozart, Bach, and Beethoven. By that, I mean this appeared in Beethoven. Um, in the Discovery Kit of Baby Lullaby, it appeared in a Mozart song. So what the hell am I talking about for Bach? It plays Minuet in G. I, I'm definitely sure they had this playing while they were filming the clip. I assure you. And I mean both clips. Because I kind of forgot they actually had two. I don't know why. I was thinking mostly of a uh, symphony number no. 9. But obviously I mostly do think of it more as a symphony number no. 6 instead of a 9. Still a pretty cool uh, mobile to begin with. And I'm literally getting to the point where I can't really fit anything in my room, for God's sakes. I mean, especially this thing. Like, where the hell am I supposed to put this? It can barely hang from anywhere. And literally the place where I, like, keep it is literally on this chair. That's literally the best place I have for it right now. I, I could literally fit my, tw my Teddy Mobile back in my room. Except for the fact that it's still on that chair after all, like, after, like, two months after I filmed it. Crazy. Oh, yeah, and of course... You can volume up and down. This is the how loudest it can go. Actually, let's, uh... Watch along. I also don't know why they have this little light thing here. I'm assuming this is a light. I don't know. This little part right here. Let's go to white noises. Again. I'm sure you can hear that better now. What I assume is that the little thing right here was probably for like a light thing that I think this actually originally came with a remote and from what I know of me and DJ who also owns it I don't think he um his comes with a remote either so I guess that's kind of sad but hey it's it's this thing is still better than nothing at least it actually does work whether it has a remote or not and of course uh this little part right here is removable from uh, this piece but I'm obviously not gonna do that because well you know me I don't want to eh. god damn ah elephant fell off I'll fix it later hey at least it's pretty cool I guess I like it yeah it's a little plush I'm really specific for these, but, um, I don't even know if they have, oh, they do. Um, I can't really tell what the year on this thing is. Ah, shit. 
I don't know. Based on from what I'm seeing from my eyes, it looks like 2005, but I, I have no idea. Literally, the best I can see is 2005 for this thing, but obviously we all know that this thing probably came out in, like, maybe 1999 or something, or 2000. Maybe. I, I don't know. That's just my best guess. Um, anyways, uh, moving on from this, we're just going to go over to the table and review all this stuff. We have the other five items right here. Oh, what's that? You want me to review the ball party bounce first? Well, too fucking bad. We're saving that for last. Along with this, we're going to review the most boring shit first. Which, honestly, it's probably the most interesting stuff, in my opinion, in uh, this video. So, starting off the new year with uh, new toys. Well, actually, these are not new toys. I got them back in 2022. Um... Toys from a video that I don't really own anything from, except for these two items right here. They are the Tolo cow figurine and the wooden milk cartons by Habba. Um, let's do the cow first one, because I feel like that's more interesting. It's really just a figurine, though. It's not really that much. You can turn the head and all that stuff. And I think, yeah, the legs also move as well. This one. Oh, and also the tail also moves. Yeah, nothing too really that special. I mean, sure, it has aged, I guess, pretty fine. I mean, it is kind of whiting a little bit, but... Still, it's not really my biggest concern. It's still a pretty cool item, I guess, to say the least. Even though this thing is pretty common. Yeah, the mouth is starting to fade a little bit, but still. Doesn't really matter. It's still pretty cool. It is made by Toto. Don't know what year, though. I always am curious to know what year everything is made in. But yeah, nonetheless, it's just a cow figurine. And what else do you want me to say? Uh, moving on to the milk cartons. These were pretty cheap, and obviously same thing goes with the cow. I think the cow was like 7 or $8 I got it for. And the milks, um, for four of them, uh, oof. I'm going to say they were like 4 each. or No, like $2 each. Two, 2 or $4 each. I think it all ended up to like 16 in the end. I'm not really too sure. But these things did come from Germany, though. Pretty interestingly enough. Uh, I do like the details on the milk, though. Even though it's just one little painting, the rest of it doesn't really have anything on it. It just has the letter M for milk and a little design of the cow. Nothing really too specific, although they are made by Habba. I definitely confirm that, though. Set it on the listing and everything. But yeah, again, nothing really too special. They're just four milk cartons with the cow. Works perfectly. They're the only two toys I have from first signs as of right now. Um, yeah. Um, moving on. Next up we have the, what is it, the dazzling uh, drop ornament from Baby Santa 2000 and 2003. I actually, I think it appeared in all versions. But, um, in any case, this is pretty cool, though, even though they are cheap, just like the cow and the cartons. Um, surprisingly, they were still, they are still being made, so they're common to find. Just look up Avon set of three dazzling drop ornaments, I think, and then you'll find them. Um, coincidentally, these were made in the year 2000, so this was a perfect timing for, uh, these to be in Baby Santa. Literally made within the same year. Pretty cool. Uh, one thing I could definitely tell that in Baby Santa, this little springy part was right here was definitely stretched out. I don't want to have to do it with this thing because I don't want to destroy it or anything. But it is pretty cool. They definitely stretched this thing out to make it a little bit weird. I don't know why, but it still looks pretty cool either way. 
I did home clip this and uh, for some personal stuff. And my clip def of this definitely looked pretty bad. <sighs> yeah. It did come with two other ornaments, as expected, since I did say a set of three, but I don't have the other two with me right now. I think they're on my windowsill. I'll probably film a clip of those eventually soon, too, but, you know. The main reason why I bought it was because of this part, with this this piece right here. It's still a pretty cool ornament, either way. It kind of reminds me of one of those windowsill gems, um, gems that go on your windowsill, and like a sun catcher or whatever. Kind of reminds me of one of those. I like it. Definitely would recommend the ornament because it's pretty common as hell and, you know, it's interesting. Um, Alright, next up, or second to last item we have here is the... Um, actually, let me... Uh, move you guys out of the way. Second to last we have is the giraffe puppet from World Animals 2004. Uh, found this on eBay around the same time I got many, many other good and rare items. Um, and I found this one. I think I just used a lens to find this. And one morning, so one morning I just decided to go on Google Lens and search up some stuff. And I decided to search up this. Thinking I wasn't really going to get any results. But coincidentally, I found this. And um, I think it was only for like 10 bucks. I think. It, it was cheap, but... It was something that I really wasn't expecting to find, even though, according to others, this was on eBay for quite some time. So, you know, why pass the opportunity to get it? Because I pretty much already have almost every single uh, plush or puppet from that scene, except for uh, the bongo monkey, which I'm still trying to find. It's literally the only one I still need left. Um, but yeah, no, this is pretty cool. It's It's literally a puppet, actually, so... You could just do this and then. Oh, you could barely do it with the mouth. My hand can barely fit inside the giraffe's head. Um, this is made by Mary Myers. Um, even though the tag is faded, I obviously know this because uh, the monkey. Uh, that appeared in First Moves is also made from that same company. It's literally the same thing, except it's just a monkey, but... I don't know, I was thinking about getting that soon, but... You know, I have other things in mind. By the time I'm filming this, the, literally the most recent thing I got was literally a Johnson & Johnson rattle um, that was uh, that appeared in the 10 Years of Discovery that I literally got on eBay for only a dollar. So we technically, if you don't know yet, we technically have another... 4MS Kinetic on our hands. By that, I mean... Uh, I'm literally paying another item for only just a dollar. There, there's literally no other silver 4MS on eBay, okay? I'm not... I'm not exaggerating. That There's literally none. Um, last but not least... We have the thing that I'm sure we all came here for. Well, actually, until, like... I revealed it, like... 12 minutes later but you obviously know what this probably is it is the ball party bounce from the numbers nursery bonus features uh for those who have stuck with me since the beginning you guys probably know that i actually did used to own this when i was little like when i was very very little like when i was first born um yeah so i did used to have this uh pictures can confirm it i did used to own this thing um, but then I think somewhere around like maybe 2013 or like around the time when we moved, uh, it just disappeared without a chase. Same goes with a bunch of other BE stuff that I had back at the time. Uh, mainly the Guration that I remember. Uh, once I uh, packed that away, I was, I never saw that again. The only piece that I kept uh, with me the whole time was um, that googly eyed gear. And that was the only piece remaining from the original set that I had for all these years. Um, but yeah, no, this was probably among them. Um, and throughout the years I've been in this community, I have been trying and trying again to 
get this item, I think I've probably tried ever since like 2019, I think. Uh, definitely tried to get this in 2020 and 2021 on Facebook Marketplace like three or four times. And every single time, it just declined. Actually, I think even there was even one case where I even found this thing on OfferUp and uh, the seller even refused to ship, although I probably wouldn't blame them since I think OfferUp is basically like a uh, in-person meeting and buying thing. Fuck those. I I barely can find anything in my area anyways, so... Ugh. I literally have to go to Savers in order to find something. And at least last time I went there, I actually found the fucking Biojet and it literally didn't have the wings and it doesn't work. Hope you do. Um, but anyways, um, this... Of course, it came with uh, five balls, uh, right here. A uh, funny story how I got this is that I found this on eBay for like, I want to say like it was a good like 25 or 6 bucks. Um, it was an auction, and I literally, I w I, since I was a pure genius... I decided to just wait until the auction ended to put in my bid in the last second. Um, as to be expected, cutting, um, fast forwarding to literally like the last few minutes of the auction, um, as to be expected, there was a bid on it. And hilariously enough, um, I think I was calling with uh, BE fan uh, 7904 at the time. Uh, during all this, but, uh, basically, what this other bidder, who was also Nathan Schkans at um, as well, by the way, um, uh, what he did not realize is that I am a genius bidder, and what I did was that I placed in a bid in, the, like, the last 12 seconds, and I basically just beat his ass. I fucking won it for, like, $26. And then he just fucking raged at me in the DMs, like, saying, like, fuck you, you don't deserve it. Honestly, it was definitely one of the funniest, uh, moments of, uh, 2023 when it comes to auctions and shit. But it was, this one was funny, though. It, it was tremendously hilarious. Um, but yeah, no, the good thing was that I finally got this thing back after so many years of losing it. And, uh, I'm just happy that I literally have this thing back. Because this was, like, so much fun to, like, play with when I was young. And even today, like, I still enjoy it. And the balls, too, sometimes get stuck. It's not like the ball party where they're literally just going to eventually... One's going to go down after the other. Oh, speaking of which... I've also realized that um, these balls are much bigger than the ones for the ball party tower round. I, like, literally, you guys know that I own both now. So, basically, I did some comparison, and it turns out the ones for the ball party are, uh, the tower round ball party are actually way smaller than these ones. Like, these ones are just big. They, they could barely fit, I think they could barely fit inside the funnel. Uh, for the ball party uh, tower round. That's how big these things are. They can't even fit through there. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. Well, let's do the other one. Do this one right here. Okay, let's just see if I'm going to go. Because this thing is pretty cool, though. I'm not going to lie. Here. Oh. Not even getting a good angle from it. Nice. Yeah, this was definitely one of the better toys I've owned. Sure, I've owned better toys when I was younger, like the Castle Pounder and the Quackalong Ducks. But, uh, this one definitely probably tops it off for, like, the best one that I've had since childhood. Oh. Yeah, let's just see this thing one more time uh, before I go.
But yeah, no, guys, that was about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you guys like, comment, and definitely subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, peace.